One of the most exciting developments in this operation is that we're in the process of constructing a system to use that landfill gas to generate electricity. Once you place waste into a cell, anywhere between six and 18 months after it's placed, it starts to decompose and it creates what we call landfill gas. Landfill gas is basically uh, made up of 50% methane, 40% CO2, and then about 10% balance gas with under 1% oxygen. So once we start to emit that methane gas or that landfill gas as we call it, um, it does have the potential to uh, get into our atmosphere. What we do is we construct horizontal pipelines and vertical pipelines that are under vacuum throughout our entire landfill and we actually collect that in a vacuum. So we test our landfill emissions every six months to ensure that we're not emitting those harmful gases back into the atmosphere. On the gas to energy project, I think this is extremely exciting. From the engineers, the engineers tell us that the garbage that was placed in the landfill today will continue to produce gas for 40 to 60 years. So we have a natural gas well out here and we are adding 700 tons to that every day. So we have this tremendous resource. Every 30 feet offset between the peaks and valleys of the landfill, every 30 feet in elevation has to be a gas pipeline. And we've been collecting gas out of those pipelines since 2010, at which time we were required to start burning that to burn off the uh, NMOC which is non-methane organic compounds. We have to burn that off at a certain temperature to reduce the air pollution. Basically, this is where the, the gas to energy project hooks up. It takes that gas that's being vented or wasted and burn off. It takes that and develops energy. We're gonna bypass the flare system, which burns it now, and uh, run it to a generator building um, where we're gonna have, right off the bat, two uh, 1,300 kilowatt generators. They're uh, fired off of reciprocating engines are basically a converted locomotive engine uh, converted over to natural gas from diesel. We, we looked at the possibility of using that electricity on site, but our demand for electricity just wasn't that high. We just don't use a lot. Most of our stuff is run off diesel remotely. You know, we have the office building in the shop, but we just don't use very much. Um, so we're actually going to sell that power back to Idaho Power. All of the forecasting shows that we will return a profit, and that will be over the course of 20 years. But it is, it's good to know that we're taking something that would just be burnt off into the atmosphere. We're taking and we're producing a product that, that everybody can use. Over the 20-year power purchase agreement, we will sell back to Idaho Power over $35 million of electricity. This is probably the project that you're gonna remember for a long time to come. There are a lot of people that do landfill gas to energy. The way that we're doing it is unique. We're paying for it and we're gonna recoup all of the benefits. We're not subcontracting the operation out. We're not subcontracting or selling back the energy to somebody else. We are building the facility. We're generating the power. We're using the byproduct that we're generating and we're recouping that benefit for the district. That's exciting. We all take pride in what we do and we want to do it right. And we don't only want to do it right for us, we want to do it right for all of our community members. Everybody has a stake in what we do and we understand that. That's why it's so important to do a beneficial use project with our landfill gas to energy project. It's the philosophy of this organization that we take care of those hazards in an environmentally responsible way.